Hi guys, welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to explain you about a really useful tool named Pixton. Okay, basically this software is really useful for you to create comic books, storyboard. Okay, this one is a really useful tool for teachers as well to create an educational content. And for example, here I'm going to choose a background. Here I choose a scene. And this, this one is the tools. On the left side, this the middle is the picture. And the right side here is the result. So for example, here I'm choosing to be in school. So okay, this is the school. I'll choose the classroom. Okay, for example, this one. Okay, so right here I'm going to choose the character by Okay, background is done. Now the character, I'm choosing this one, add a person. Okay, in this comic, I add a person. And this one is at school. So I'm going to choose the teacher first. For example, this one. Okay, I have choose the teacher. The teacher itself can be a, a kid or a teenager, adult or a mature person. Okay. okay, I'm choosing the adult. So here is the teacher. Oh, it's a giant one. Okay, so I'm going to choose here. Then I'm going to give the word. Take the word and I'm going to give a speech. Yeah, comic book should have a speech to, to choose. So let's say I'm going to type here, guys, don't forget to submit your assignment within three days for example like this and then you click this one okay when I put this one on the top it will change the arrow see the bubble arrow okay and then here you can also change the face, for example, the expression. Okay, so let's say I'm going to choose this one. Hmm, is it good? Okay, and then I can also change the action. For the example, the body pose. The body pose is like this. Okay, but actually this is already good. Let me change it. This one is left facing, facing left, facing right. Okay, I'll choose the face on facing center. Is it good? I don't know. So let's choose another pose. This one good. <laughs> okay. I think this one. And guys, this is the first page. So going to the second page, you just press plus. Usually the software will provide you a picture like this, but then you can always change it. Okay, so for example, over here, Okay, we turn off the teacher because we are going to the student side and to add a person over here let's choose for the student okay for example this one as a student yeah for example this one is a student okay you see the eye is already moving like this to look at each other so they can communicate for example like this Okay, and then click on the girl, okay, and then just click on the word, and you can write down like this, Mr. David, can I submit it to month 
later. Okay, for example, like this, and then you click this one, and the bubble shows. You see, the arrow will move according to which conversation or which talk is coming from. So, if you want to change the teacher's face or speech, feel free about it. So, I would like to change the face or expression. For example, like this. Or if you want to be disgusted, angry, scared, or anything, you just click on it. There will be some suggestion of angry. For example, like this. Okay, this is the second page. You can create as many pages as you want, and then you press done. There is your comic book. You can make it, let's say, three, six, nine, or any number of pages. And I can give you a suggestion over here. If you click on this, you can have it as a coloring book. You see how fun it is? And yeah, you can download it, or you can print it, or you can share it. It's fun. Okay? So, teachers, students, you can try Pixton. You can make your comic book. You can make the story as fun as you like. Okay? I hope you can like and subscribe. Thank you.